Queen Elizabeth, her passing, her legacy, the end of really the last major figure of the greatest generation. Your thoughts? Well, one of the things that uh, Queen Elizabeth understood was the uh, vital nature of the alliance with the United States. So uh, many English subjects don't get that. I lived in London for a year in college. And, you know, there's a good strain of anti-Americanism, particularly in the press over there. But the Queen always knew that um, Britain and the USA had to be together in order to counter the horror of communism and now Putin and China and Iran and the jihadists. And that uh, her steadfast uh, support of America uh, was downplayed but in history, it was very important. Yeah, such a great point. Yeah, and, and something that also is important that unfortunately in today's culture has fallen by the wayside is tradition. And she, to me, epitomizes tradition. Um, with her passing, what else, other than obviously her reign and tradition, what else dies with her? Well, it's all the greatest generation, and now the baby boomers will start to do it too. It's all what they call old school, you know, that there are ways to treat people, that there are ways to present yourself, there are ways to speak, um, that learning the English language is a good thing, and saying like 15 times in a paragraph isn't. Um, using profanity every other sentence is not good. Um, so the old school people understand that uh, if you want to be taken seriously, if you want to accomplish things in the world, persuade people, you have to present yourself in a certain way. Um, you can't have a sneaker on your head talking to John Solomon. I mean, it's just, you know. So the queen epitomized that. I mean, there were so many rules. I never met the queen, um, but I did uh, have a long conversation with Donald Trump about her. Uh, Donald Trump's mother uh, was a big, big royal fan because she was Scottish, born in Scotland. And I write about that in the United States of Trump. And then when Trump became president, Queen Elizabeth and Trump had a very good relationship. And that was one of the reasons why, that Trump respected her tradition and how she handled herself with grace. Um, and uh, that helped both Great Britain and the USA.